lords and ladies, my name is Archaic King, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Batman the Telltale series, Episode 1. In the last video, which was yesterday, uh, we got into a fight with Catwoman, par for the course. We also tried to be friends with Falcone, but I kind of kind of threw that one right out the window before we even started. <laughs> Uh, in this video, I have no idea what's going on. I only saw a brief snippet before I cut things off uh, yesterday. So, uh, let's see where things pick up. Have we been kidnapped? Oh, I was, in I was in the elevator. I thought we got kidnapped or something. We were in a, like, bus or train. It's me. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battering rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. That's interesting. He keeps the movie tickets. Tonight, five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think the Awesome, I can finally move around. Now this is what we gotta Okay, that's a data drive. I was right. I said, oh I wonder if that's a hard drive. And it was. But let's look at our gadget table. Let's see what little toys we have to play with. Spare grapple gun. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. So we are experiencing uh, the a young uh, Batman's career. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. You know, when you really think about it, Batman is such a ridiculous concept. I mean, not only is the guy dressed as a bat, he also has bat-themed weapons. But when you actually sit down and read the comics, watch the cartoons, they do a pretty good job of convincing you it's pretty fucking cool. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that Catwoman would have preferred the latter. Can I look at my laptop? No? Okay. The newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. That's cool. Everything is purple themed like I decided earlier. Whoa, where am I going? Oh, I can look at the Batmobile. Oh, even my reticle is purple. I, I didn't actually notice that. Ah, the Batmobile. Nice. That's the stuff. <laughs> he had the exact same thought I did. Also, I'm trying to figure out how I can like walk faster. Also, if I was paying more attention to the guy in the background, I'm sure I'd be picking up some really cool Batman Easter eggs. But um, I only heard something about inmates from Arkham escaping. Could be the Joker. Who knows? The suit absorbed most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. Wait, is there something? Oh, I can look at the cowl. Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. I actually, that's actually really interesting. Now, I, I love the holographic lenses because it makes the. Uh, gives like the the black not the black the white eyes that you see in the comics and in the cartoons which is just like a visual thing that they did back in the day because you know drawing eyes in those tiny little circles 
was just really, really too hard. Uh, nowadays, they could probably do it using computers, but I really prefer it when they like when a superhero is wearing like a cowl or something. They just like white out the circles and whatnot. And it's kind of cool that they went in that direction, just made them holographic lenses. Still not a fan of the voice modulation because it gives Batman this really deep voice that doesn't sound doesn't sound perfect. But you know, it's fine. He didn't even use my saying. For Harvey Dent, and elect a real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. No, oh, I can I can actually move this around. Uh DA Dent pressures mayor to decry vigilantes. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the Wow, well, I can't read this and listen to them talk at the same time. Blah, blah, blah. Please to tap to lead task force. Forced. Forced. Uh, Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. Alright, that's good. Can I turn off this stupid TV? Let's see. Gotham feed. Codex. Data port. All right, that's nothing there. Um, what's this codex? Is this like maybe like? Oh, that's cool. I can kind of look at it, get more information. Yeah, Alfred. You can pause this if you want to read it. I can't even concentrate on it with the stupid TV talking. Yeah. What? That's that's the penguin this time around. They've certainly designed some of their, uh... Oh, and he's a childhood friend in this one. That's interesting. Wait, why do they call him? Uh oh Oswald. He doesn't look like the Penguin. That's so weird. But then again, uh... Telltale did say they weren't specifically adapting any one comic or anything. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. Alright, I wish I could turn off that TV because it's actually getting really annoying. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the data drive then. Nearly fell off a building for this? Alright. Maybe this will finally shut it up. Find out what was so important. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Oh, sweet. Holographs. Or hologram. To rotate the hologram, use L. Okay. Where... Where am I looking at? I have no idea. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. 
There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, and the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. No, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. <laughs> the good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. <laughs> I would love to see that. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. That's, he's actually done that in a comic before. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Still not liking the look of the, um, uh, the penguin in this one. But, I mean, I guess they're just trying to be a little bit different. That's, I mean, that's not awful, but... Maybe they were trying to be a little bit closer to his appearance in the show? Gotham? If you've ever seen that one? I think a lot of people have. Where are you, Oz? Although calling him Oz only gives makes me think about the Wizard of Oz. They probably should have said a different name. Uh, is there anything else I can explore around here? No. Let's look at this graffiti. Also, I can't believe I decided to be well-dressed and go to this park. I'm going to get robbed. Of course, the person who robs Batman is going to really 
regret, regret that. Hmm. I'm surprised I can't interact with this hobo. Like, give him some money or something. Because I totally would. Aw, examine the homeless person. Aw, you're so sad. Shh, I'll give you, I'm gonna give you some change. Uh, thank you, sir. You never want to give them too much money, because then they probably go out and buy alcohol. Or so I hear. I haven't really met a homeless person in a very long time. Statue, but no eyes. Now that she, now that statue looks a lot more like what I imagine the penguin looks like. Shopping cart. Probably a pointless interaction, but sure, I'll go look at it. Not even any commentary either. I can talk to a smoky man. Hey. Beat it. Okay. Let's walk away from the smoky man. I don't even see the point of looking at the graffiti. Is it really going to, like, give me anything to look at? I'm going to go ahead and look at the plaque, though. Might say something interesting, maybe, perhaps. Well, that isn't what it used to be. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and look at the statue. Maybe Oz will show up. <sighs> now they got me saying it. Penguin. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. I knew it. Oh, there's two of them. You heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. And him. Okay, time to press some buttons. Oh, penguins here. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. You're in the moment! Come here. I think that'll do. Holy crap, Oz. I even know that was going to be square, but I pressed it anyways. Stay down! Shoot. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh, dude. A little harsh. My park! Mine! You hear that? Not a good reintroduction. Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Eh, yeah, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Oh, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. 
It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Me too, man. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wade Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. This might as well have been an, an entirely new character. This isn't even Penguin. Not, not really. I wouldn't even say they got the accent right. Lately, games and shows have been giving him like a kind of like a Cockney accent, a British accent, whatever. And I don't particularly remember him being that way in the comics. Although I guess you could argue you can't hear his voice in the comics. <laughs> Still. Dang, is that my car? Mr. Wayne, over here. Right here. This way. Honestly, I can see Harvey Dent getting really pissed off at me. Which leads to him kind of like becoming Two-Face or something. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> no, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, 
with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Oh, I do. <clears throat> My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Oh, boy. Oh, God. And Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? I, I can't look at the... I I'm in the middle of an interview thing. ...evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? Mm. I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, bro? Jeez. How long has your family been dealing this has nothing to do with why we're here. Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? Ah! Oh. about this, Bruce? I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. What? Oh, God, I should have answered it before. Oh, boy. That's... I uh, wonder why they're here? Is it about Falcone? We'll have to find out tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for this video, lords and ladies. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you pre uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or comment. And make sure to tune in tomorrow uh, for the continuation of this Let's Play. Take care.